Hi Taurus, welcome to your bonus reading for March. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. If you're new or returning, thank you and welcome for and welcome and thank you for coming back. So Taurus, we're going to take a look at a little bit of love, light, and advice for you for the month of March for your bonus reading. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. May not be for everybody. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching, doesn't really matter. Can also be past, present, or future energy, so please keep that in mind. Everything you need to know is down in the description box, how to reach out for personal reading, or the pinned top comment also has a lot of information. And also the free giveaway for reaching 10,000 subscribers is still open until the end of March. If you would like to win a free tarot deck and a free 20-minute reading by me, please check also the description box, pinned top comment for that info. And if you would like to head over to the community tab in my channel, there are two polls I would love everyone to participate in. Um, what kind of readings you would like to see per month and if you would be interested in extended readings on Vimeo. So thank you and good luck to you if you enter the contest. So Taurus, let's see what's going on and love for you at this time. Taurus, please. Thank you so much, Spirit. Taurus, please. These cards are hard to shuffle. For Taurus in love. Wow. Taurus, what's going on? All right. We have this card, my beloved. Though we may not physically, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends no space and time. Nothing is missing. So it could be separated from a loved one at this time. And then we have trust here. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically tra automatically transform. I'm sorry if I'm a little tongue tied or sound tied. I had a very very long week. At work this past week, I work in a fulfillment center where we do online orders. Um, I don't want to say what company it is, but uh, it's an office supply company. And with this virus and the hectic thing going on right now, we've been extremely, extremely busy. And we just about sold out of all um, antibacterial stuff, paper goods, everything just gone. But we had, I think, 10 hours of overtime last week. <laughs> so very long week, very tiring. So I did get a good night's sleep last night. I slept like 10 hours, so it was much, much needed. And I don't know what next week will bring, but I'm trying to get caught up on my readings as much as I can in preparation for the weeks to come because I don't know what's going to happen be doing a lot of overtime so it's just craziness okay <clears throat> so Taurus all right Taurus what's going on what's going on in life for Taurus at this time spirit please thank you so much for Taurus Taurus all right, I'll take that one. Oh, the magician. Are you manifesting a brand new beginning? The magician here, unicorn. There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. So you have all the tools you uh, have within you to manifest a new beginning here. So let's see. What are we manifesting? What's the bottom energy? Four of spring, otter. It's time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all that you have. Joy arises from success in your career. A completion of a project or a very happy home life. So this is a four of wands energy. So you could be in a new job position or a whole new job, a raise, a promotion, which are much more uh, <clears throat> abundant and successful. And now you're having a very happy home life, successful career or a completion of a project or something here being very happy and content in your home life, in your person here. So, and under that, the Ace of Cups energy. So, total love, fulfillment, peace, and harmony in every single way. All right, so let's take a little look at your advice here. And also, Taurus, I may or may not be um, continuing these bonus readings. It depends on, on your feedback. Give me some feedback if you like these or not, as they seem not to get a lot of views. So um, I'm considering either 
<clears throat> stopping them or turning them into elemental bonus readings, which would be fire, air, earth, and water. So, all right. So, what is the advice for Taurus? What is the advice for Taurus, please? Thank you so much. Okay, what do we have here? Hearing messages from spirit. I am a clear channel for messages from spirit, but if you're not getting messages from spirit, this could be, if you're seeing signs, symbols, finding uh, things, trinkets, uh, hearing or seeing the same things over and over, there could be messages from above, so pay attention to that. You could be finding feathers, you could be uh, seeing the same uh, animal or something like that or insect or something or seeing the same flowers over and over, over or something like that. I'm getting something too with uh, mail or um, like paper or finding like the same like paper or something like, I don't know, it sounds strange, but I don't know, something like that. It could be like a flyer or something or something that you keep getting in your mail like over and over and over and you're like, why am I getting this? I don't know. It's a weird message. All right, so on the bottom of the deck here, we have rising above. I see only beauty and grace. So this is a rising above something here. Getting over something, rising above it, letting it go, letting it pass, overcoming something here and just seeing beauty and grace rising above difficulty rising above negativity all right so let's clarify all this energy for you taurus <clears throat> for taurus spirit please thank you so much ay, 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 ay. all right taurus let's get one good shuffle for taurus please thank you all right so what is this trust in my beloved? So I don't know if I delved into this, but I feel like if you're physically apart from a loved one, maybe you're, you're worried, uh, can I trust them while we're apart? And I, I think this may be that energy. So I, or you're just having, you just needing to have trust in this person while you're apart or you're not together right now. Because they definitely are thinking of you saying here, nothing is missing. <clears throat> Tower energy here. All right, what else here? Emperor. Wow, two mages right in a row. Someone could be dealing with an Aries because this is Aries energy here. Let's get one more. What is this trust? Am I beloved about? All right, pulling this one. Page of Swords. So having mental clarity, open, honest, truthful communication. You could be spying on them while you're apart right now. Maybe this person <clears throat> owns their own business or um, they could be like a vice president, president, CEO of a company. Maybe they have to travel a lot for their job or their career. And maybe you're worried here. You know, the tower can be an epiphany, aha moment, surprise, a shake up, break up, a change, disruption or something like that. Uh, but what I'm getting with this is, you know, maybe, you know, while they're away, uh, maybe they stay in hotels or something like that a lot. And maybe you're just worried. Uh, can I trust them while they are out? And maybe you're trying to spy on them online while they're away or having people spy on them or something like that. But uh, let's get a few more here. Let's get a few more here for Taurus. Yeah, you're worried. <laughs> you're worried while they are away. You're sad while they are away. You're lonely while they are away. You're worried while they are away um, about this, about this Two of Cups energy between the two of you. You know, will will these Two Cups stay standing, or will they eventually tip over? And uh, or something here. So that's way too many. Oh, I'm feeling this one. Five of Wands, inner conflict. Yeah, I feel like you have a lot of two fives, inner conflict. For some reason, 
while they're away. Maybe, you know, they get a lot of attention. They could be good looking, uh, very strong and confident. And maybe, you know, they have a lot of admirers or they get a lot of attention. And I think it worries you that maybe they'll give in to temptation. And that could be the change. Fives are about change. And this could be the tower moment. You worry about a tower moment of a disruption or a breakup, breakdown of some kind. But we do have the Ace of Cups here. So I do think this person does have this big old cup of love for you because they have this message for you, my beloved, that we may be physically apart. Spiritually, we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So just know you can trust them because look at this big cup of love here and you have this love for them also. So this is love fulfillment. It could be a new connection for some here. If not, this is just saying there's a big, big cup of love here between the two of you. You don't have to worry um, about this ending or being some kind of big change of something happening while they are away. Just have a mental clarity here with the Page of Swords. And just be open and honest with them too and communicate. You know, I know you get a lot of attention. I'm scared. I'm nervous. Can I, you know, I, I do trust you, but, you know... And, and you may not want to ask them, can I trust you? Because I think that may hurt them. But just say, you know, I'm a little worried. Kind of, you know, say it in a compassionate, nice way. Just be honest. All right. So what is this magician in the Four of Springs? <laughs> the Four of Springs. Oh, my God. I am still tired from this week I just had. All right. The Four of Wands in the Magician. Or Taurus, please. Nine of Cups. So wish, wish, dream coming true. Happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. The sun, success, victory, happy home and family, healing, enlightenment. Wow, every everything positive with the sun. Everything positive with the sun. So whatever you're manifesting here will lead to your fulfillment in life in every single way. Fulfillment here, which is dreams coming true. The moon. So you get the moon and the sun. Wow. So it may, may have been a time here where you were wondering, you know, is this new beginning ever going to come? Is this ever going to manifest for me? But, you know, the moon or the sun always comes up and there's always enlightenment. Things come to light. So whatever energies you can't see, whatever paths you can't see, whatever things you can't see coming, Everything will be enlightened here. Everything will come to light. Everything will work out. This is success, victory, everything, everything in life positive with the sun. And you're feeling really happy and joyous, fulfilled. Wishes and dreams coming true. Eight of wands. So fast action, travel. Some of you may travel. It could be you that travels and you're worried about your person while you're away. However, it resonates for you because this can speak of traveling uh, fiery, passionate communication, taking action here, the devil. So oh, we got toxic energy here. Oh, what is this devil for? Why is that here? Why is that here? All this good energy, three wands. So waiting for the ship to come in here, but then I feel like now some of you could actually travel on water. For some of you, uh, but the ship coming in here, you know, this devil energy could have been the moon energy of fear, worry, stress, anxiety, uh, worried about the path, not seeing it clearly, you know, worried things won't come to light, but then it does with the sun, moves quickly, taking action, traveling maybe, like I said, and then you wish just fulfilled you in manifesting this new beginning. I'm not really getting any, because the sun always over, overcomes the devil energy. So <clears throat> I'm not really getting any, like, really bad energy with the devil. Can't talk about, you know, addictions, obsessions. Some of you may have been overindulging with the Knight of Cups energy here. But then overcoming that with the sun energy. But I do see, you know, manifesting this new beginning and then being very stable. So... Waited for that ship. It came in, taking action. You know, may, may have been a period of being disillusioned with the moon energy and having that negative mindset, you know. And then everything comes through here. So so what is this? Hearing uh, messages from spirit and rising above. 
So we have the two of coins. So feeling a little imbalanced. Again, see, he's like raising his hands to heaven. And you see like these two coins coming down. So some of you could actually be finding coins. Like two coins or four coins at a time. Like dimes. I'm getting like dimes. I don't know. Okay, so... I feel like when you're feeling imbalanced or unsure about things, maybe you pray or meditate or whatever here. And I think spirit wants you to know that your loved ones hear you. Because here's your ten of coins. So some of you have been finding a lot of coins. A lot of coins. But there's your two of coins to the ten of coins. So not only over here, manifesting a new beginning, but you will eventually have your ten of coins in life. Being totally abundant for the future, happy home and family, uh, legacy, family dynamic, abundant for a lifetime. Queen of Swords. So that's my divine energy card, air sign, or you've got to be air sign around you. Over here, we did have Aries twice and Cancer, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Over here, we have Leo, Pisces, or Cancer. Capricorn and the magician here is I believe um, Gemini and Virgo so over here we have Libra Gemini Aquarius so again the swords here having mental clarity this could be divine energy from above telling you they hear your prayers and they're sending you coins symbols um, trinkets or things like that and also the queen of swords king or queen doesn't matter is having that mental clarity using that sword to cut away things energies no longer serving you honest communication sometimes it can be a little cold-hearted so be careful with that energy knight of coins so moving forward in a very stable energy being very smart practical and here, now here's the Ace of Swords, total mental clarity. So whatever is slow moving here that you're moving towards, working hard or, you know, whatever is slow moving, is slow going, but you will, if you're a little imbalanced, you will eventually get to the Ten of Pentacles. I think it may be a long process. But no, you can rise above and you will get through it. And your Ten of Pentacles is waiting here for you. And here's your successful new beginning with the Sword of Victory. Again, the mental clarity, brand new beginning, based on truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is. So one more, one more. High Priestess, so listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Um, maybe <clears throat> kind of keeping to yourself a little bit uh, also, and not gossiping and that kind of energy. But... Listen, and also, this is the divine connection. Messages from spirit being divinely connected here. And we have all this divine energy with the swords. And under that, the four of coins are holding on to your stability, your finances. But then here we have the four of wands. So very stable home life coming in for you. Two fours here of stability. So you will have stability in your home life here, I feel, as you manifest forward. All right, Taurus, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And then I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.